Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to 3 2 Guilt. Here we go. Remember, don't skip the storyline if you've beaten this game before and you want to make a walkthrough on it, unless you really want to skip the storyline. But a lot of people actually have done that on YouTube now uh, with this game, and that's kind of a downer actually for those wanting to understand the story and have someone explain it basically. So that's why I'm that's why I'm kind of pushing to keep the story into this walkthrough here, even if I have to skim through the text pretty quickly so as not to bore you too much with this. But as a quick reminder, I'm putting timestamps in the descriptions in each video to allow you to skip to each operation briefing that you need help with. So if you ever want to just go to an operation, just search for the part on my channel and or just just go through the videos and just click on the timestamp on in the description and you'll be able to go all, all the way over to that part like you would be able to skip all the way over to here <laughs> and this is another guild victim it is another karaoke victim as you've seen yeah this isn't going to cause me much trouble whatsoever in fact i'm going to be showing you some more techniques that you can use to defeat karaoke easily except for a much much later operation wink wink nudge nudge you know which one i'm talking about trauma center veterans here unless you're not a veteran because you're watching this walkthrough i always say that walkthroughs are for the people the that need help with the game not for the people that uh are looking to get the game then again it does sometimes help people decide if they want to get a game or not so uh yeah I'm just gonna stop right there <laughs> because we're gonna talk about the operation here. Just cut inside and look at that. We, re we remember these, don't we? Yeah, no problem. That was a terrible stitch, and I still got a good for that. See, it's it's not about the accuracy; it's about the speed. I think I think you have to have like three so and so many degree bends, like 90 degree bends or 45 degree bends. I don't. I'm not sure exactly what the exact thing. Uh, mechanics are, but yeah, just do it fast and do a lot of zigzags and you'll get a cool rating. Hello, Kiriaki. Thank you. And I will laser you. There we go. Heal, heal. See how fast I went there and I still got cool rankings? Well, uh, there I got a good, but still. Uh, no, I want to... Oh, you, you. Yeah, baby. Um, I'm going to just heal up those and laser these guys out. Because uh, Queen Kiriaki is going to be coming soon, and this is going to be the technique that I'm going to be showing you for the Queen Kiriaki. Watch, watch, watch. Ping right in the center there, and you'll find the mama. Now what you want to do is heal up all the cuts, as well as raise all the vitals. Because we're going we're to be doing sort of a combo attack here. Just get the vitals up to 99. It'll take a little bit of time, but don't worry about it. Okay, now watch this. Laser, get your ultrasound ping here. Cut. Now laser. Oh, not, I said laser. Thank you. Ultrasound. Cut out. Laser. And that is it. It didn't stand a chance. <laughs> and that's how you beat the Queen Kiriaki. That also works very effectively for the uh, babies as well because their their main power is the power of being hidden so when they're inside the body you don't know where they are you don't know where they're going to be cutting so that so that's kind of a problem when it comes to finding them but when it comes to the queen you know where it's going to go back into the body and you know where it's going to appear from when it when uh, the operation starts with the queen excuse me that part of the operation and b rank what i did well that is, oh, no! That is unbelievable! You said it, man! You said it. Yeah, it was incredible. Uh, incredible blasphemy, that's what it was. But, oh, uh, yeah, I know they're talking about my surgery skills and stuff like that. Anyway, next part of the story, The Darkness Within. That sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card, actually. I think there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card called <laughs> or something like that. I could be thinking of something else, but I'm pretty sure there's a thing called the Darkness Within. Hmm. I don't know. That's gonna bug the heck out of me now because the first thing, the first thing that came to mind with that was Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I'm speechless now because I'm thinking of this. <laughs> don't. Don't you just hate that when you are trying to think of what you're what, what you're trying to relate something to, and then it's just like 
No, that's not it. No, it could be it. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to drop it here. <laughs> so, yeah, they're going to have a little conversation here. So there isn't any op or medication for it. And, huh, what's going on here? Uh, looks like he's got a little confession here. Yeah, I was looking... Remember that I was back at the office in the last part that I was reading through some papers there? Well, we're going to see what that is right now. And uh, hello there, little girl. Yeah, Amy is Tyler's sister there. <clears throat> Unfortunately, she's not doing so well because she's been infected by guilt. A different strain of guilt. Oh, yes. And that is going to be a problem. The strain of guilt that she's got is kind of luck based some pros are gonna be like oh no i could do this operation every time well good for you <laughs> your mother your mother must be very proud of you <laughs> okay i'm just joking around that is pretty impressive if you could beat this particular strain of guilt but anyway introducing leslie here and she's helping out amy here she's been in a hospital for two years as, as, as explained so she's probably been her nurse for that long or i'm expecting well, at least that's what I think. I don't know. Oh, that dumb like your big brother. <laughs> He's basically calling himself dumb there. <laughs> ah, I gotta love those self pokes. I do that to myself a lot. If you didn't notice that in my videos. Hey, if you can't make fun of yourself, you you aren't allowed to make fun of every anyone else. I'm just gonna say that right now. So yeah, this is what he's seen in the office. This is what Derek's seen. Yeah, he is the euthanasia expert guy, sadly. Yeah, so Tyler, while he went to medical school to help people, he he practices euthanasia because he believes that if a person, you know, is put out of their misery, it prevents everyone else from, you know, suffering, like their friends, that f friends and family that care about the person that's suffering, the person that is suffering and stuff like that I personally don't like that idea <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now especially since you know where this is a doctor game and all like that we're supposed to be helping people but we'll get into more of this right now but he, he evidently knows that it's naive and there might be consequences to it but he well, I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> I'm stumbling on my words here a lot lately because I don't want to spoil things. We're going to be checking that out in just a minute here. In something precious, here we go. No, nope. I skipped the storyline. Yeah, I know we're going to be operating on Amy here. That, that was to be expected anyway, so I guess minor spoilers there in about like a minute or two. <laughs> so here we go. 3-4. Blah -de -de blah blah minor spoil spoilers. You don't care. Oh god, Amy's condition is getting worse. This is not going to go well. So we have to do something about this. We gotta get to the OR. Oh boy, this is getting exciting. Okay, I'm being overly dramatic here again. <laughs> but Tyler here. She, he doesn't think that she should be operated on because as you've seen in the other area I, I mean in the other storyline he believes in the whole euthanasia thing and since he believes that Amy doesn't have a chance he thinks that the best thing would be just for her to go as hard as it is but oh no not me I am Dr. Derek Stiles and I intend on saving her oh yeah we are going to do something stop losing hope we will be fine stop panicking no she is not going to get torn apart by guilt just have faith in yourself we can get through this <sighs> okay I got a little bit overly dramatic there <laughs> but as explained before this game is all about the drama as serious as this game takes itself it's hard to take a game seriously that has a lot of highly sci-fi aspects as well as the fact that the cuts heal themselves in like seconds <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> no well we can operate come on we gotta try something oh poopers it's in her lungs this is not gonna be good 
Well, we gotta do something about it. Come on now, man. If she's gonna die anyway, we gotta at least try something. I mean, it won't hurt to try. I mean, I guess it would kind of cost the hospital money, but still, this is not about the money. <laughs> I, I hate when people, like, put aside their medical problems for money. If you've got something that, you, that concerns you, just go to the doctor for it. It'll make you feel a lot better, even if it's nothing. Holy cow, that's a sharp tongue. But yeah, just don't put aside your medical problems because there's a lot of people that care for you. A lot of people that want to see you around. Just get things checked out if you ever feel suspicious. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, she's in a lot of pain and she wants the operation to happen because she wants to live and she believes that her brother is a good doctor. And now he's going to have second thoughts about his beliefs in euthanasia, that he was cowardly and stuff like that. and. Yeah, he just can't even be around. That's okay. We will take care of it. And I highly doubt that he would be able to do anything about it anyway. <laughs> this guilt is incredibly annoying. It's called Deftera. And we are going to be taking care of this right now. Oh boy. I gotta be honest with you. I am not liking the looks of this one. <laughs> I have never been good at this strain of guilt. Even though I can sometimes randomly get excess ranks out of it. Because as I said, this is a very luck-based guilt. I should say it's luck-based if you want to get a high ranking on it. You'll see what I mean here. It is uh, a tumor that comes in two types that actually looks like that it's moving, but it's not actually moving. It's just replicating its DNA and kind of moving around. And it, act it also creates little tumors that you'll have to laser off. It's, it's an annoying tumor all around, let's just say that. But we have the healing touch, and we will be able to save her, even though I don't plan on using the healing touch in any operation. <laughs> Unless it's like integrated within the storyline or something like that. <clears throat> give up. Uh, because I would I really like to show you guys how to do these operations without the healing touch. Because it because then it looks like wow, this operation isn't that much isn't not as hard time. as I thought it was, even though that all these operations have an incredibly high um, learning curve to them. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, it's just a thing of to show that it's possible. Anyway, laser, laser this, laser this, These are these, all these different colors can be lasered. Wait for a little one to appear, and I'll laser it, because that, that little one, it won't replicate itself and make more tumors. No, these aren't the Deftera. You'll see when they appear. Get your drain out for these. <clears throat> Alright, and... Get ready! For the cutest tumors in the world! Yeah, I haven't seen many tumors in my life, but of all the tumors I've seen, these are the cutest ones. When they combine into that yin-yang symbol there, uh, just drain them out like you would a normal tumor. Whenever they make those bigger tumors, just laser them off immediately, and you shouldn't have any trouble taking care of them. However, there's a big problem with these. When they come in pairs, and they will come in pairs in just a minute, that's where the trouble's gonna come from. And that is where the luck-based problems come into play. Like, that wasn't hard at all. I could do that operation every single time, any day of the week. But, oh man, the second part. Remember they said they were dividing us into two operations? One is over here, and the other one is going to be going up to a different area, right here, to the lungs, and here we go. Oh boy, make sure your vitals are at 99 when you cut in. <clears throat> okay. Now, when when there's two tumors combined, if they are the same color... Oh, good, 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 very good, very good, very good. Um, you don't want the same color to touch each other, and you don't want any of the other two to touch each other um, while two are combining into that yin-yang symbol. Otherwise, you will get a situation where they will actually lose vitals and create a tumor and that is going to cause a lot of problems and holy crap this operation is going extremely well oh my god this is like my best run on Deftera ever this is gonna be one heck of a score <laughs> okay come on come on come on hurry 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 yes oh my god oh my god that went so well that as I said that is very luck based that doesn't always work like that for me trust me that was a very, very rare case. Don't expect that to happen to you every time either, so don't get mad if it doesn't happen to you. And to be honest, I expected that I would actually lose this operation a few times until I would actually get a good run on it, but 
Successful PK Gam is successful. Wow. Whew. That makes me a happy gamer. No need to repay me. I am a doctor. What's my rank? What's my rank? Yeah! I told you I sometimes get random excess ranks. Sorry, that was unprofessional. <laughs> but I don't care. That was freaking awesome. <clears throat> wow. <gasps> and now they're going to be having a nice touching talk here. He's not going to be turning him into the authorities. But he does know that he has been fo focusing on eliminating pain and suffering. So he wants Tyler to use that information that he's gathered through his euthanasia research and stuff like that. To use it to help people, basically. So he's not going to be turning them in. And I gotta say, that is a pretty nice thing to do. Especially since, you know, we know Tyler just didn't know better, basically. <laughs> uh, well, I should say he thought he knew better, but now he does. Yes! It's so beautiful! Look at it! It's shiny! And on the hard difficulty, too! <sighs> International Conference! Let's go! Last storyline of this part, and that is all we're going to be doing in this part. If you'd like, you just end this part what off whatsoever if you'd like to, if you're only here to see the operations. Otherwise, I'll continue on chatting and rambling and possibly annoying you <laughs> as usual. <sighs> so, they evidently took a video of it, and they must have been pretty dang impressed by my powers, but if I were to play this video that I made of this operation in slow motion, I betcha it wouldn't show anything, so that's baloney! <laughs> and this guy right here, he is incredibly smart, he has done a lot of breakthroughs in medical research as well as development, but this guy is an a-hole. <laughs> But respect him. He is here to help people, and he does help a lot of people. And I'm just a healing touch guy to him. <laughs> but just, he, he's got a very, very cold attitude, very ornery, he curses a lot. Yeah, we'll see more of him later, believe me. They like manners. <laughs> oh, it's all right, no problem. I just had to meet that guy anyway. He's got to be popped into the story somewhere along the line. He is going to play an integral part of the story as well, so. Be sure to pay attention to his dialogue as well and what he does. Just saying, not gonna spoil it, as usual. I never spoil things in the earlier parts, I only talk about things as they come along. Unless I like, I like accidentally slip up or something like that. Most of the time I don't do that though. So that is all for that part of the storyline sequence. Let's go to the con conference forum. This is not the internet. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, a forum isn't an, you know, the, a forum can be two different things, like an internet message board or a big conference room like this with a bunch of seats that you can use to talk to a wide audience, basically. And, uh, yeah, if I was Derek, you know, not, not being used to talking to a lot of people, I would probably be pretty nervous as well. <laughs> as a matter of fact, to be honest, I used to be pretty nervous when I started making videos on YouTube, even when I didn't have, uh, any people to watch my videos, but I still make videos anyway because it was incredibly fun and that is what I will always make videos for, is always for the fun. I will never do it for money, I will never do it for fame, I will always do it for fun. Whatever comes out of it, comes out of it, basically. Nothing will change me on this channel. <clears throat> anyway, so what do you mean never, uh, never at stage fright? Come on, everyone got a little bit of stage fright. Okay, maybe not everyone. <laughs> But as a performer, I've heard that pretty much every performer does have a little bit of worry because you know it's like, oh man, I hope I don't mess up in front of these thousands of people, that would kind of suck. But you know, people understand that other people are human, they do mess up even if they are a performer and stuff like that. You get the idea. So that is the, uh, the end of this little conference here and now we're going to be talking about the medical terrorism apparently. Because remember, the guilt, guilt strains here were not made by, you know, like natural means, like say a cold or flu virus. These were man-made suckers and we have to investigate this. And evidently the people who are 
doing this are called Delphi, or Delphi, whatever you want to call it. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we don't know too much about them right now, but there's a pretty good chance that they are the uh, creators of guilt, but we don't know that for sure at this point in the game. We're just being suspicious at this point. For all that we know, they could just be pranking us with letters or something like that. Or people are posing as them. You get the idea. You just never know. We gotta do a little more research into the game and the story. Well, I should, not the game. I should say the story itself and to the progression of the game story. That's just how things go. And, oh, they were using the townspeople to develop guilt. That is not good. Yeah. Needless to say, that strikes uh, a pretty strong <clears throat> response in the Iron Vixen there. Because, you know, she used to be a police officer. So she was pretty passionate about that. Anyway, that's all I'm going to be doing for this part. Sorry to end it suddenly, but we're at like 20 minutes now. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we start. Episode 3-6, An Explosive Patient. What could that mean? We shall see. But I already said that already. Yeah. Ta-da!